Hey everybody, we are here and we have amazing uh, people to introduce you to. You'll all know them, Paul and Luann Wilbur, international prophet and psalmist, uh, awesome couple that God has brought to us as one of our oversights of the church and the ministry. And we're going to ask them some questions. We're going to interview them. So stay tuned for something really awesome. Hello all. Uh, this is going to be kind of fun tonight because I don't know if some of you guys don't know this, but um, Paul and Luann are also part of the, the covering for our church. And so there's uh, something special that happens when they come to church. And, yes. And uh, so we are looking forward to seeing what's going to happen tomorrow. But we wanted to just ask Paul and Luann some questions, you know, as they travel throughout the world. Uh, some really key things, and uh, wait till tomorrow in the message Paul's going to share. I think it's on Sunday also. But um, some things that the Lord's shown him, with, especially with this past uh, yes. election. So we just want to say, uh, just uh, get ready, because yes. it's going to be fun. Yes, don't don't miss tomorrow morning with Orheim at 1030, and also tomorrow night at 630 at GoMZ and also at 10, 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. All right, we are ready to go. There they are. They are all the way from Honduras, Arizona, and they live in, uh, they live in Jacksonville, Florida. So go for it, guys. Okay. All right, go ahead and throw us some questions, and we'll answer everything that you needed to know in this new season, well, Pastor for, Dave. First of all, before we get started, tell us about the uh, new ministry you have that's gonna be going on, you're gonna be going on television here mm -hmm. on the program. Yes, uh, we have a, a new broadcast that's gonna begin in February. Now, I wish I had a date to tell you, but if you watch God TV and watch for their schedule, it's being advertised all this month on God TV. Um, our program is called Together for Israel. My dear friend Scott Volk, another Jewish believer, uh, we call ourselves the Jew Crew, uh, <laughs> we will be uh, broadcasting. We've got Dr. Michael Brown. We have former uh, Muslim, now strong wow. believers, pastoring in Jerusalem. Um, the ministry is really for building up the body, uh, Arab and Jewish uh, and Gentile believers in the land of Israel, uh, not only through teaching, but also through raising funds there, there are ministries that are raising hundreds of millions of dollars every year. And how much of that do you think goes to our brothers and sisters in the land of Israel that are struggling so hard just to maintain daily life? I'll guarantee you it's far less than you even think. And so the whole purpose of our program is not only to educate and to encourage, but also to raise funds uh, that we could support the body of Messiah Arab, Jewish, and Christian there in the land and see the gospel preached uh, from a position of strength. Wow. Don't miss it. It's going to be awesome. Wow. We've got praise and worship. We've got Dr. Michael Brown doing uh, Hebrew word of the day so you can learn some Hebrew so that you don't have to go to Hebrew remedial school once you get to heaven. <laughs> you can join us, you know, flying around the universe instead of having to go to class uh, with my wife. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, it's just, it's an, it's an awesome, you'll see us in the homes of people encouraging them. Um, initially, the funds are going to support believers who have um, special needs children. Oh, and it, so it will touch your heart. Thank and you, it's God. intended to do that so that together we can be the body and strengthen those parts that are, are weak. And I know God will really bless you That's as you watch. That's so cool. So it's called Together for Israel. We're starting on God TV in the month of February. Watch the uh, the listings. And if you'd like, go to our website, paulwilbur.com, W-I-L-B-U-R, and uh, we'll have the schedule there for you as well. Awesome. Hey, just wanted to ask both of you, um, with our new uh, president, uh, what kind of hope do you have? What do you, what, what are you, kind of, what are you seeing that's going to happen here in yeah. between Israel and America and wh whatever else has been on your heart. Uh, you don't speak about politics or religion, but yeah. those rules don't apply here. So no, they right. don't. That's You'd right. go for it. Yeah. We've been, uh, I'll pray and then I'll, I'll ask uh, my wife to join in. We've been praying for many years about the 
society that we live in. You know, the scriptures promise us that if my people who are called by my name, I know you've heard the scripture a million times over the last couple of months, right? Second Chronicles, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I'll forgive their sin, and I'll heal their land. We've been praying this for years and years and years. And I believe that now God has opened up uh, a portal for us. He's opened up for us an opportunity. And um, for those of you who think, well, um, our new president, Donald J. Trump, is no saint. Uh, he's not the Messiah. Well, hello, we already have a Messiah. We weren't voting for a Messiah. Right. We've been praying and entreating the body of Christ to pray for righteousness. Yes. We have a privilege in this nation that very few nations of the world have. That's we have a voice to speak righteousness into our culture. And for all of these years, we've really struggled against political correctness as That's opposed right. to biblical correctness. We've wrestled with politicians and those who have warred against the word of God, who have warred against uh, righteousness as we see it from the, the position of the word of God. And now God has given us someone who is openly declaring um, it's time to, re to bring God back into yes, the White House. Yes, that's right. We, we applaud that. We support mm. that. We love that. He's already signing orders to, re to remove funding from Planned Parenthood yes, that continues God. to butcher children even awesome. after they're born to physically destroy their lives, sell body parts. And this new president has said, we are not going to do that any longer. He's already signed the order, the famous Mexican mandate, which says that Americans will no longer use tax dollars to pay for abortions yes, internationally. That's right. This is all in just yes. one week. Just in one week. Um, and, and I believe there is much more to come. Much more to come. Look at the people that he's been putting in place. I mean, these are good people. They're solid people. They're God-honoring people. I mean, are they sold out, tongue-talking, scripture-quoting? I don't know them that well. But from the fruit of their lives... I'm, I'm pretty excited about the direction that God is taking our country. Amen. So, um, why don't you share with us for a couple minutes, dear? You really encouraged me. That we landed in Israel on November 9th. We had to leave. We didn't see the end result of all of these years of prayer. And uh, we got on a plane to help lead a tour to Israel on November the 8th. And so we were flying for all those hours and didn't hear what was happening with the election. We voted, ran to the planes, and then took off. And I, I said to the Lord, uh, as we were getting on the plane, if, if this election goes the other way from what I've been believing oh. and mm -hmm. preaching and mm. praying, please don't speak to me again about any elections because I can't take it anymore. Yeah. So, and, and then my wife had a word for us. When we landed in Israel uh, and heard the result of the election, it was like a huge, huge burden had been lifted off of our, our hearts. So, I'm, I'm talking a lot. Well, what the Lord told me um, after we heard the election, the results of the election, he told me to tell your husband, encourage him that all the time that he's sowed in traveling around uh, the United States and um, going to certain states and places. He was on special assignments. Um, just that those times, well, the eight years ago and then this last year, um, that um, the fruit of that is... Yeah. You've seen it. The, the harvest good. had finally come. Yes, yes. God. So it yes. was very encouraging. Eight wow. years ago, the Lord spoke to me and said, as Ohio goes, so goes the nation. So we changed our schedule. And for six months before the election, we traveled all over Ohio shouting, pray for righteousness, vote for righteousness, get out of your religious chairs and get out there and, and speak on behalf of those who don't have a voice. And, uh, and then Ohio went a different direction. Four years ago, the Lord spoke to me in prayer and said, as Florida goes, so goes the nation. Mm. I thought, wow. 
no problem. We're from Florida. We have authority here. We got this. So we changed our schedule and traversed all up and down the east coast, the west coast of Florida, through the center, all the bugs and, and all the humidity, had a great time. And then on the final day, it went a different direction. And so this, this election uh, season, I told the Lord the day before as we were getting on the plane, if this goes south, please don't talk to me again about elections. I can't take it. And when we got off the plane in Tel Aviv, and um, we heard the good news. We heard, yeah. we heard the good news. And the news. Lord said, tell him now. He yeah. said he didn't want to hear any more. We'll tell him. Yeah, I didn't want to hear it. But this I wanted to hear. And, and it, was really, it was really encouraging. Um, you know, we, we plant seeds. We believe. We believe we've heard the Lord. We act on what we've heard. And then our responsibility is really, that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. And we leave the results of it to the that's Lord. That's right. And so uh, I believe now we're eating the fruit. Yes. Of doing what we were doing. And we're obviously not saying that it, <laughs> this is yeah. because of us. There were a lot of people, people praying. Right. There were a lot of people. The, the Graham family went from state to state. Every yep. That's state right. To That's every right. capital mm -hmm. speaking the same thing. Yeah. And, and his sister, Lot Graham, she was out traveling. And there were a lot of ministries that were out imploring Americans yeah. to, uh, to hear what God is saying. Yes. And to exercise the privilege of being free people in a free yes, state God. while we still have a voice, while we still have the opportunity. And I believe we are in for, well, well I believe the Lord said this is a breakthrough year. A yes. Breakout. Yes. And three words, uh, and I'll expand a little bit more on this tomorrow morning at Or uh in Golden. If you didn't catch that, if you're just logging on now, we'll be at Or at 1030 in the morning um, at Gateway on Mount Zion uh, in Golden, uh, uh, I almost said Ohio, Colorado, and um, 1030 in the morning and then 630 in the evening, we'll have concert ministry in the same place and then again Sunday morning for the service, church service, uh, beginning at 10 o'clock in the morning. And you need to come early because um, we can only fit uh, a couple mm -hmm. of hundred folks. So don't uh, get caught out in the snow and in the cold. Right. Uh, That's right. Yeah, and there's some people asking, what's the word that you have for the new year? Mm -hmm. Well, you all need to come and hear because that's what will be, uh, Paul is going to be bringing that uh, the word that God has been giving him for this year, uh, you know, tomorrow and on Sunday. So, yep. One of the things too, um, it, it's uh, important for all of us too to remember today is National uh, Holocaust Remembrance. Exactly. And um, and that is something that we would never forget about what happened there. So you. if you uh, if you want to just and, and just to bring that up about Israel and the, what do you think is going to happen between the U.S. and Israel now? Yeah. What do you What do you think? Because of this new setting president that we have, mm -hmm. what are your What are your thoughts? All these years, all of us have been praying. That's right. And now, to see what we'd love to hear from you guys, mm -hmm. Luann too, we'd love to hear your heart on this too, okay. Dave. Both of you. Both Thank of you. you. Well, I believe a lot of good things are going to happen. Yeah. I mean, like my husband, we're sharing. This is a year, you know, of breakthrough. So I'm, yeah. I'm really breakthrough. Very excited. Very yeah. good. When we landed in Israel on November 9th, after the election had been declared, there was an amazing sense of freedom from uh, Israelis. They uh, wow. would come to us and say, what do you think? And I'd say to them, well, what do you think? And the, the, the smiles went from ear to ear. We really believe that God is giving us a partner now for peace, a real partner for yep. peace. Um, and there's, there's a real sense that this two-state solution that has been pushed so hard mm -hmm. by governments of the world is, is going to be a, a dead issue. That's which right. Which I believe is the right way to do. Look, for anything with regards to Israel, let's go back to the manual. Mm -hmm. Now, what does the manual, the Bible... What does the Bible say about the land of Israel? 
I'm not talking about 67 borders. I'm not talking about that state or this state right. or Gaza. Or, mm -hmm. No, he said, I will give you this land to you and your seed forever, from the river to the sea. Now, I know what the PLO and those who uh, would love to see Israel wiped off the face of the map, how they finished that, from the river to the sea, Palestine will soon be free. There is no place called Palestine. That's right. There is no national state called Palestine. There has never been an Arab state in that area or anywhere called Palestine. God has given that land to the Jewish people, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And yes, yes Jesus. he has another son called Ishmael, and God has made promises to his son Ishmael. Um, but it's not promises for a land. And so I believe that we're going to see the borders of Israel extend to what God has declared. Amen. I believe we are going to move our oh, embassy thank you, Jesus. from Tel Aviv, which is a, a lovely Ooh. city, but it doesn't happen to be the capital, Right. back to Jerusalem. We were there a couple of weeks ago. We already saw the property and the building where the proposed wow. embassy is. And yes, this is going to cause some firestorms around the world. And yes, people are going to be very upset. Well, that's the way it goes. And so God is, is orchestrating this whole thing. I, I hope you can join us uh, tomorrow and on Sunday because there are three words that the Lord has given to me that will really encourage you. And some of it has to do with his plans and purposes during this I believe 40 year season that is beginning right now. Let me just give you a little, just a little piece and then hopefully whet your, whet your appetite. Before 33 AD, there was no worldwide church. There was only Israel. Now from 33, approximately 33, when, when Jesus was crucified and raised from the dead and we have the declaration, the establishment of the new covenant. From there until the destruction of Jerusalem is about 40 years, a generation. And after that 40 years, there was no Israel. So during that 40 years, we had a generation of mm. the church international and Israel coming together. Mm. And since 70 AD, with the destruction of the temple, until now, we have had none of this. Wow. But now... We are in this season again of restoration. It's a part Thank of this you, word, Jesus. restoration. It's very exciting where we have the Ecclesia, the international church, and we have Israel established. And guess what's happening? They are coming closer and closer and closer together. And yes, we are coming into a time um, that I believe these next seven years, oh, yeah. uh, I believe God has said something very specific. Woo. It will really encourage you. You need to hear it uh, and you need to prepare during it because <clears throat> what's coming afterwards, you'll need to be able to make withdrawals out of what you have uh, socked away. I'm not talking about hunker down and pretend like the, the world is coming to an end tomorrow. I'm talking about a seven year Joseph period where you're, you're wise, you put things away for the future. You're wise with your investments, with your finances, with your food, with your resources, with all the things, with your giftings and callings and anointings, everything that God has given to you. Amen. Because after the seven year period, you're gonna, like Joseph, you're gonna need to make withdrawals. For what? For the salvation of your family, right. of your community, mm -hmm. and for the nations of the world. Amen. Just like Joseph, uh, as he was faithful, to sock away and to, during those seven good years, he put all that, and this is being confirmed to me day after day, I'm getting emails from Australia wow. and from around the wow. world, people saying, I'm, and, and I mean reasonable people, this is, I'm hearing this too, can this be, this came out to us in prayer just last week, just out of our spirit man. And so I'd, I'd love for you to come and join us tomorrow morning, 10.30, uh, tomorrow night, 6.30, this is Saturday, the 28th of January. And then again on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock in the morning. And I believe there's, there's going to be a thread that's going to be woven through all of these three services together. Wow. Um, and, and you really won't want to miss it. It's going to give you some hope and direction uh, for your life uh, and for the future. 
So that was a long explanation. That's awesome. But, that uh, is so awesome. Well, let us pray. We're going to pray for you. Father, we just thank you for Paul and Luann and Lord God for the nations that you have given them. You have given them, Lord God, people groups. You have entrusted this ministry, Lord God, with the hearts of your precious treasures in many nations uh, because you do trust them and because they love your people. So, Lord, we speak a blessing over them and their family. Thank you for bringing them to us. Thank you for blessing um, our congregation, our ministry, Lord God, with this phenomenal team yes. that loves you, that's uncompromised, that, that are righteous before you, Lord God, and, and Lord, who love you with their whole hearts and with everything they have. So, Father, we bless them. Thank you for your protection as they go forward. And, Lord, thank you that we get to go to Israel with them yes. this year in June. So we are, we count it an honor and a privilege. And Lord God, we just thank you for blessing those that are watching this. Let this be, Father God, um, nuggets of truth that will not just be kept in their hearts, but Lord, spread. Spread the truth of Israel. Spread the truth of the one new man. Spread the truth um, and, and, and come against the lies and deception of the enemy with the truth. So Lord, we just thank you. Uh, for this new season that we're walking into of enlargement. Um, and we we embrace it. We embrace it all, Lord. Yes. In your name we pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Thank you. All right. Well, Amen. we will see you all this weekend. We'll see you tomorrow morning and tomorrow night and, and Sunday morning. And for those of you that are out of state and you can't uh, get here tomorrow, there is that live stream. And none of you oh, stay yeah, in your good. jammies. You get your fannies to church on Sunday <laughs> and on Saturday. <laughs> this is a great right. opportunity to have you. Uh, yeah, so yes, sir, don't forget that. But uh, we love you all. Thank you and um, have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bless you guys.